Total Warfare here, welcome to episode 12 of our legendary difficulty Seleucid Empire campaign where we are to warf everyone. So let's have a look who's attacking us this turn. Okay, there are two armies in uh, Arabia, a full stack from Parthava, a crab stack with spearmen and slingers, not a big threat, and this depleted half stack. These guys are clearly heading towards Petra, which doesn't have a strong garrison, but these we should be able to deal with uh, relatively easily between the garrison and the general. The main strategic objective going forward is to conquer South Egypt and then go into Ethiopia. I want to send two armies there, one this way, one this way, but we also need another army to protect what we already have in Northern Egypt and probably also fleet. So our financial situation is very good. We have 31K in a treasury and 3,400 income per turn. So we can easily build another army and send it here to reinforce but we don't have another army because uh, we are defending everywhere. I think we just need to handle with what we have up here in the north. With the help of this fleet, Antioch should hold against full stack attack. And then this uh, brand new army can be redirected south. So let's uh, hire some more here. We want a second ballista, maybe some of these archers and a couple of peltasts and get me another thorax sword. Okay, in here we'll be defending from this guy, but we also need to intercept him. Let's move this guy over here and then see what he does. Here we have enough to withstand an attack between the garrison and this guy, but we want to recruit more troops across the board. We have too much income not to use it. So let's hire to full for this army. Some citizen calf. Now, do we need to recruit with him? I don't think so. We just need a general here to get experience from this battle. The, the garrison here is strong enough. So let's maybe get him. So let's get one citizen calf and maybe a couple of hoplites. Okay, and we also need a second fleet in here. All right, so let's raise a fleet here. We go with Royal Peltasts and maybe grab a few of them. Okay, we can also build library. We definitely want public order here, so let's build this. Z is for more public order money and grain pits for more money and replenishment. We'll be fighting a lot in this province, so replenishment is important. These guys, I'm afraid, are stuck here for another few turns, but that's fine, they'll be um, improving public order. Now, in Salamis, we have this uh, Grove of Nymphs, which gives us plus 8 public order, but we are already maxed out. So we're only losing food um, from this. It doesn't give us anything, really. So I'm going to switch it to Temple of Poseidon, which will be plus 6 food instead of minus 4, and also give us uh, better ships and cheaper ships. So let's do that. Here we can build level 2 mine. Okay, so we are building a new fleet, recruiting across the board, and positioning ourselves defensively for the next uh, turn or two before we can move another army south and uh, continue conquering Egypt. Okay, let's keep an eye on these guys with this spy. He's just going to starve them so they don't think of attacking us. Are we still to of everyone? Yeah, let's move on. Okay, so the crab stack from Parthava is attacking. Mm, yeah, they have nothing. We can easily beat them. Let's do this. Alright, so this layout again. Um, again, you can either defend the hill here or these um, three streets, so we're going to defend the streets. Right, this is the general, so we need him where he's not going to die and reduce our morale. Let's put him here. Okay, like this. Now, these three pikes, let's put them here in really deep line. In fact, let's put the three healthy ones here. Like this. Okay. This beaten up one here. Um, this is wider. We probably just put our general here instead because he's got more men. He can cover the whole street. And this guy can just protect protect us here. Alright. Mm, Hillman. Two here to throw some javelins. Two here and they'll be flanking. Now this spearman, we hold him in reserve, just in case. These guys, yeah, just put them here to absorb some javelins, why not? 
Now, Slingers will be here, because this is where his main force will be coming from. And the Elfin General and Cavalry, for now, at the back, they'll we'll use them later on. Everyone deployed here, let's do this. Okay, so the question is, where are his horse archers going? There's one, and that's the other. Okay, they can see us now. That's good. Hope they come through the main gate or entrance. Yeah, they are. Okay. So our slingers should have a really nice shot here. This is what? Median cavalier. Okay, they'll annihilate the mob, so let's withdraw. How are our singers doing? Quite a few kills already, nice. They're down to 45 men. 25 now. Okay, start shooting him now. Yeah, yeah, it's just mob. Okay, his infantry is approaching, but that's fine, we're ready for that. Okay, you guys regroup and shoot at whatever you want. And uh, cavalry can start going around. Yeah, they already lost the general. Not so good for them. Great, no one's coming this way, so let's start moving these guys over. How we're doing here, Levy Pike, 27 kills, 22 here and 10 here. How are our slingers doing? Yeah, not too bad at all. Okay, you guys hurry up. Cavalry, I want you to clear these slingers. You guys can start moving here, attack them. Hmm, pikes are ranking up kills, nice. Wait, what? Why are you coming here? You were supposed to go around. Back, 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 back. Okay, you charge at them. You chase them. Ah, uh, there's no point. Just stuck here. You come here. You come here. You come here. Okay, switch target to them. You go into Phalanx and attack here, and you chase away these slingers. You this one, and you this one. Levy Pike. Okay, Elephant, you charge here, help them out. You hurry up. How's this cobbler doing? 15 men lost. Okay, these guys are wavering, that's good. And you attack here. Okay, one is gone. Attack him now. Okay, you guys switch to this, and you attack them too. You chase him away. This will be a nice charge. Oh no, these are horse archers. Bug, 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 bug. There's no point fighting them. In fact, there's no point just trying to escape from them either. Just chase them and maybe you catch them. Oh, we did. Nice. They're gone. Okay. Ooh, that's over so soon? Alright, so they survived by just barely with half a unit of Slinger. And we make 900 gold. Okay, our income is down to 2100 because we recruited so much. Right, let's have a look who's attacking us. You can already see quite a build up here. Nothing up north. Nothing down south that we don't know of already. What is this? A full stack from Saba. 
Yeah, a junk stack. We easily have enough to defend here. And how about these guys? So this is half dead. We have an elephant general. We could try to finish him off, but uh, we need to hire a mercenary to be able to do that. Right, let's get him an archer. Elephant kills slingers, an archer um, destroys the phalanx. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we're taking this stupid desert attrition again. Damn. Oh well, we'll just hire someone else then. Okay, auto resolve. Wiped out. Disband the whole lot. Hey, and what's this? A crab stack from Media. A crab stack from Parthia. This guy's half dead. There's another one and a half stacks from Ari on the way. Right, so we're looking at three stacks attacking us here over the next uh, two turns. Right, we need to bring more force in. Now that this guy withdrew, we can bring him here as long as we have enough to hold the fort here, and I think we do. So that's fine. Let's move him over. Oh, we can expand here. Let's do that. Um, Terrace is probably safer, so let's do it here. Now, this is our main recruitment province, and we really need um, Temple of Aris for better morale. This will give us plus 10%. Okay, let's build that. Level 3 harbor, sure. We're still recruiting here. How's this army looking? 13 units. Let's get them some cavalry. Oh, we can now recruit Indian War Elephants. So we have enough shooters, six. So we probably want about four units of cavalry. So let's get uh, one elephant and uh, three sits and calves and two more thorax swords. How is Egypt looking? Plus 17 public order, that's nice. Now inside here, these guys are recruiting, but they're only recruiting a little bit. So not a threat. In fact, we should start moving this guy south because he's almost done recruiting. So let's move him as far south as we can, which is here. So it was it elephant, three sits and calves, and two thorax swords? How is public order here? Still plus four, that's good. And Antioch garrison plus this fleet should be enough to hold the fort here. Oh, this army disappeared. It would be good to know where did it go. Let's scout a little bit here. Nothing. Move here. He leveled up. Give him... Well, let's go with infantry command first. He leveled up too. Get him tactician. Just make sure we're still at war with everyone. Yeah, okay. Is risk still 0%? Yeah. Okay, move on. Alright, so what's the situation? This guy didn't attack. He's raiding instead. Okay, how about the other guys? One, two, three, four stacks approaching mm, this settlement here, Adumatu. If they want to attack, I'm fine with that, but maybe we should just set an ambush. The thing is, ambush in desert is like 15% chance, there's no point. Let's just stick to our guns here. You can start moving south with forced march. How is Egypt looking? Slowly rebuilding. Public order, excellent. Do we have a new spy here? Steal some food. Oh, Kush is approaching. How is the other spy? Still no one here, and let's have a look here. Oh, two stacks. Right, this is really bad. Because these are also strong stacks. Hoplite, sits and calf. Well, reasonably strong. This is a crap stack. But if they attack together and take Antioch, we lose capital. Okay, so we want to set an ambush. 55% sounds good. Let's do that. If we can catch the first one, that will be good enough. Oh, we can also upgrade Peltas to light Peltas. Let's do that. And put him into ambush. Public order is still good in this province, so that's, that's great. Okay, so we do nothing everywhere else. Just basically wait for this army to come here and then we move him towards Mios Hormos and one of these armies towards Theospolis. 
the third one will stay up north um, protecting Alexandria and Memphis and then we move both of these armies into Ethiopia to take this oh she leveled up too level 3 noble okay plus 3 x for new heavy units right so this guy the the one we just sent south can now recruit uh, swordsmen and pikes with rank 7 right off the bat pretty good okay upgrade them and them okay research we just got uh, mercenaries which gives us light peltasts which is very very nice but for mercenary camp we need iron which we'll get soon should we go for this now for five percent replenishment but it's a big investment it's five turns it's it's too long we should go for this because we will have a lot of food from memphis very soon and with academia we get 24 percent research bonus from every uh, provincial capital where we build it this will make everyone everything else every other tech much cheaper so in the long term it's definitely worth it everyone moved how is risk zero percent okay move on what is this he's attacking with five units yeah whatever just out resolve this wiped out interesting interesting not what we expected what if we would resolve this we keep 77 percent but they get away with probably half an army what do they have three four units of cavalry a ballista which will be fairly useless and a bunch of pikes i think we can absolutely destroy them if we play this manually we will take fewer losses and they'll get wiped out let's do that All right, so they are quite stretched. Um, what we want to take out in the first instance is their cavalry and their javelin men. I'm not worried at all about all these pikes and hoplites. They are slow and, uh, and we have better pikemen ourselves, so we can deal with them later. So their javelin men are at the very back. So let's put our citizen cav and light cav here and just charge at them. Okay, now their light horse Tarantine, Sitsen and uh, another Sitsen cavalry are here, so we want to catch them in crossfire with our Peltas and archers. So let's put our Peltas here. Archers a bit further up. And maybe these guys on the other side. This hillman can go here with them. Now, how about our phalanx? We want to put them on both sides, so these guys are sandwiched between our phalanx. So let's put four of them here. And the other three here. Okay, what's this? Fireball. Where's the best angle? We probably want to hit his best units. Mercenary veteran hoplites are quite strong. So if we put this stuff here... Can we use this guy to activate it? Hopefully. Okay, what else is there? The veteran hoplites or Persian hoplites. We want them where their cavalry is. So one on this side, protecting our archers and peltasts, and one on the other side, protecting these guys. Uh, it will not be easy to manage all of this, but we'll see. Okay, an elephant 
We definitely don't want him to have to go uphill, so let's uh, put him here. Okay, we want to start with this guy and basically activate this stuff. How do we do it? Clicking on the unit and then on the fireball, okay. Okay, let's do this. Phalanx. Start moving. Yeah, this, these fireballs are moving in totally opposite direction where we wanted them to go. Militia hoplites, it's fine. Who's fighting here? A light horse. Okay, elephant help him out. Oh, we got the javelin man, excellent. Levy pike, you kill them. Peltas, shoot at them. You shoot at them too. You guys, form phalanx, move here. Okay, we won't here. Follow up against them. You keep shooting these guys. Phalanx fighting here, okay. You help them out. Who's wavering? Hillman. Okay, withdraw. Persian hoplites to this. You help him out. Phalanx attack him. Okay, we totally won here. Excellent. What is this? Archers chasing someone. Okay, pull. Come back. Finish them off. Yeah, they're all breaking. Okay. Attack these guys. You can finish him. This is Javelin Man here. Okay, you attack them. You guys attack this. You move to Phalanx. Start shooting them. You withdraw. You have no ammunition left. Elephant, you charge here. Cavalry come back. What is this? 24 units left. Okay, chase him and finish him off. Javelin man, you finish them off. You move into Phalanx. Elephants, how are you doing? These are just militia hoplites, you should crush them easily. Another one of his pikemen wavering. These guys are surprisingly strong. What is this? Veteran hoplites. Okay, go into Stampede. How's our elephant? 22 left. He's not taking casualties, that's fine. You finish them off. You can now help against him. You attack him from the side. Levy Pike, you withdraw. What is this? Militia Hoplite, Levy Pike. Okay. You guys can finish them off. It looks like it's over. Who's still standing? No one. Okay, so we took uh, slightly higher casualties than Otter Resolve, but we also destroyed many more enemies. They only have maybe 200 men left, so I think that was worth it. We'll replenish soon enough, and we can finish this stack off next turn. Also looks like... Um, Call his withdrew. We offer this as okay, so we need to finish these guys off. Excellent, we wanted to do that anyway. Oh, we have level 2 grain settlement in Memphis. Perfect. 
Okay, so what's the situation? There's an enemy army here. Like five units, nothing to worry about. There are now two stacks over here. One from Saba, one from Main. These guys fortified. Are they going to attack or what? They support each other, of course. So we are not going to attack them, absolutely not. Yeah, just this beaten up army. Okay, let's uh, finish him off. Ready for battle. To battle. Oh, he's now being reinforced by the Pontus full stack from here and the garrison. I don't think we want to go there. So let's uh, put our guy into Ambristance here. Is this 55%? 25, it's grassland. What if we move here? Yeah, this is better. Oh, we moved too far. Oh well. Go back to Tarsus then. You scout me a little bit over here. Nothing as always, so move here and steal food. Where's our second spy? Okay, so Egypt has uh, two armies here and recruiting more. Right, we just wait for them to make a move. We are so strong here that I'm not worried about even these three stacks attacking us at the same time. They want to attack with them. However, here, the situation might be a bit different because this guy, with this guy, with this guy, oh, this is also a full stack of crap fleet. Huh. This will be interesting. Great appell test. So what do we have here? Seven, one ship only, and ten units here, excluding mobs. So 18 against two full stacks, possibly three. If this guy comes here, this will be like 3 to 1. More than 3 to 1. Also, he might move against Hegra, where we have nothing. Yeah, that's the problem. We have too few armies because we are so stretched. But we can hire another one. We are at 7, right? Yeah. So we'll do this. We'll move this guy here. How far can they move? Not very far. Okay, so he can still do double time. Move here. And the next turn, we move one of these armies south and move him against uh, Mios Hormos. And we'll change the commander to someone else, rehire him, and start recruiting new army. Okay, who do we want in charge? Preferably someone young to act, level him up fast. Okay, let's get him. He's only 19. He'll be perfect and give him elephants. So we can start moving one of these armies, I think. Which one do we want to keep and which one do we want to move? Which one's stronger offensively? Uh, we can actually also move units between them, so maybe we should do that. Uh, this guy can reach Alexandria, so we shouldn't really move him. But he's got ballistas, which are better offensively. Yeah, this army is way better. Okay, so we move him uh, south and this guy moves to Alexandria. Okay, so he'll be attacking Diospolis and he'll be attacking Mios Hormos. And then we recruit Antiochus II in Syria next turn and start recruiting brand new si single golden chevron swordsman army. Okay, now we have a bit of situation here with these three stacks, so maybe we should recruit more here too. So we have five ranged units, six pikes, an elephant and two infantry. So nice mix of units already. Let's get uh, maybe one more cavalry, maybe one more pike, and that should be enough. Yeah, we, we can defend for the rest of, of the world against crab stacks. It's like what they can do with the likes of desert levies and eastern spears against phalanx, nothing. The only question is what do we do about Hegra? Yeah, maybe we should recruit more so we can support Hegra next turn. Let's get another pike and another slinger. He's maxed out at 19, now we can hire one more unit. Maybe get him get him hoplite. He leveled up from that uh, we skirmish, give him logistics and leave him where he is. Oh, we were to build Shrine of Aris, let's do that. I think this fleet should be close to de death by now, so I'm going to move against them and see what they have. Ah, uh, this guy's at full health. Ready 
Yeah, we can see them. Maybe we should withdraw. Yeah. Still dwarf everyone? Yeah, okay, let's move on. It's actually attacking us. It barely took any losses from the mm, sea. I don't think fighting them is a good idea. Let's retreat. Okay, so the Crabstack fleet is attacking us. So they have two mercenary Indian war elephants, two units you need to um, be wary of, but they'll just die charging into phalanx. So let's do this. Okay, so we have a single ship with light peltasts. What's this? Eastern spear, spear, sling, sling. Okay, so three of the six here are slingers. How about these guys? Spear, sling, spear, sling. Two out of four. And how about here? Spear, spear, spear. Pike. Okay, so there are no slingers here, therefore we should attempt to sink as many of, of them as we can, but we are actually deployed so far away, it's, it's not possible to pull off. So maybe just uh, focus on them. If we can ram into one of the slingers, that would be good. Now, they also have the elephants and the uh, horse skirmishers here, so let's uh, put our phalanx here to give them a warm welcome. Peltasts and Hillman. They can also approach from here, so let's put uh, a couple of pikemen here too. Now these guys will be coming through here and here, so let's pl plug these gaps too, but the bulk of his forces will be landing somewhere here and here and will be coming either through this way or through this avenue, so we absolutely need the, the second pikeman here. And the last two guys will just use here. Okay. Next question, where do we put our cavalry? It needs to be out, so let's let's put it here for now. This guy can just stay in the middle. And our archers and slingers, let's put them here for now. Okay, let's do this. Eastern Sling, we should run into this one. What's happening? We've sunk it, excellent. Okay, we go around and do the same with this one. if we manage to survive for that long. The men are wavering. Oh, his horse skirmishers are getting absolutely destroyed. But our Peltas ship is gone too. Oh well. It did sink one slinger, so that's something. 
Okay, his horse skirmisher is gone. Now the elephant's charging into phalanx. How are they doing? 24, 6. One is almost dead, the other one is still at full strength. And how is our phalanx? Frightened by enemy unit. I lost about 60 men. He's starting to take casualties with second elephant now. It should go fast from here, down to 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. The other one's got two elephants left. It should not last for long. Yeah, two and four. Yep, they're they're gone. They're basically gone. Okay, elephants are gone. Okay, so we destroyed four units at the cost of one uh, ship with uh, peltasts. Think we need to reinforce the spike. If his main uh, force will be coming through here, we only have 100 men left. So let's pull him out of here and plug this gap with uh, Eastern Spearman. It's a very narrow street, so Spearman in the square formation should hold it easily. And he plus the pie should be enough to hold this. Okay, he'll maneuver form. Light Peltas, you with them, and we can start moving cavalry out. Slingers charging ahead. Yeah, they'll be going through here, so we want our archers here. We also might get a nice charge with our cavalry here. Before the spearmen catch up. Because he's got three slingers charging ahead here. Which is not smart. Yeah, everyone's basically channeling through this uh, narrow street. Antipater Pikeman. Okay. This guy will get a lot of kills this battle. Right, since everyone is moving through here, our slingers and elephant can move here and I'll be attacking at them from the back. How are our guys doing? Not that great, okay, pull them back. Initial charge bonus is gone already, so no point wasting cover. Withdraw. Let's also put this guy just behind this main phalanx line to create a second one. Human, you guys move closer as well, so you can throw some javelins. Cavalry, you start going around, join them. You can also start moving this phalanx, again to close this gap so they are sandwiched, I have nowhere to run. Antipater, two men lost, 40 men killed. One enemy spearman is already wavering. This will be a slaughter. Oh, 
Oh, straggling slingers. Let's get a nice elf and charge at them. There's also a spear and another spear. Start shooting at them. You guys come here. How is Antipater doing? Three men lost 170 killed. Insane. Cavalry move here as well. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Do the same against Spearman now. You guys start moving here. Don't shoot them while Elephant is charging at them. Nine lost, 227 killed. Okay, first Spearman has enough. Attack the second one. And you guys start shooting at this. Can also get a charge here since these are slingers. Antipater close to 300 kills, 20 men lost. He's losing some men now. Oh, we are catching these slingers nicely. How's Elephant doing? Close to 300 kills. Brutal. Antipater, close to 400 kills now. 35 men lost. Cavalry is coming, don't worry. Yeah, they know they are trapped. Not a nice feeling. How's our cobbler doing? Killing, but not very fast. Phalanx will do better here. Okay, slingers, you guys. Position here. It's too narrow. Okay, you guys attack. Cavalry, you've done well enough, Ultra. Elephant, you come back. You instead finish them off. Okay, they are now caught in the narrow street between two phalanx, while also being hammered by stones and arrows and javelins from all directions. Absolute slaughter. 670 kills, wow. This guy is doing some heavy lifting here. Killman south of ammo. Elephant, you come here. Oh, you won't be able to charge at them. They are all wavering now. It's pretty much over. Yep. Only about 10% men lost on our side, plus 1600 gold. Excellent. Okay, so what's the situation? Who's attacking us? One, two, three, four, five stacks here, two stacks and fleet here, two stacks and two fleets here, two stacks here, and a fleet here. Uh, that's quite a lot. Okay, have a look at North first. Right, so these are the leftovers plus a full stack from Pontus. Our guy replenished pretty much, so let's put him in an ambush mode again, but first let's scout around a little bit. Okay, still nothing here. Check this out. 
Okay, so there's coal he's recruiting to full stack. Uh, how about this Armenian settlement? Nothing. Okay, so come back. We still don't know what's in here, but I think it's safe to put this guy into ambush mode somewhere here. Yeah, let's do that. It's likely that this call his stack will move against Antioch this turn and then we intercept and destroy it with him. Okay, so that's north taken care of. How about Egypt? This fleet... Let's try to attack it with our fleet and the guy. They'll probably just withdraw, but that's fine. Yeah, they, they are not taking the battle. Now we could catch them if we do this, but then we leave Alexandria exposed for him to take it. So we just go back. And uh, we'll fleet too. Okay, so you move here. You can attack the Ospolis next turn. Let's have a look at this Egyptian army first. So he's recruiting up to 13 and she's got 11. Okay, that's not too bad. There is nothing here other than this small Kush army. Right, so let's move him here. Also leveled up. Give him this. And you might be fighting a defensive battle next turn, so how far away are you? Not very far away, so maybe we just move you halfway through and put you in the fort. In fact, do they have any chance if, even if they attack us in open field? They don't, right? They have 24 units between them and they are crappy units mostly. So we just move in, here's fine. We don't want to move too deep because they could then use force march and go around us too far for us to catch them, but this should be fine. Now if they want to attack him with these two stacks, that's fine. It's, it's not gonna work. We can easily beat them. We now have, like, these guys are insanely good against the, the crap. They have plus ballistas, archers, double elephant. Yeah, we're good here. Anything we want to build here? Yeah, let's build Zeus. Anything we want to build anywhere else? We can expand Hegra. Oh, but Hegra... Ah, this guy can attack it and we have almost nothing here. We hunger for battle. And this is also um, Horse Archer Heavy Army. I think he will attack Charmuthas because he then gets uh, reinforced by him. So this will be two stacks against our maybe battle. equivalent to one stack. But if this main army goes goes towards Hegra. We just have nothing here. We won't be able to defend with one pike, one spear and one sling. It's not gonna happen. We can't do this. So let's not expand this. There's no point if you're going to potentially lose it next turn. Okay, and how about here? These two stacks are still camping here. There are another three incoming. If we had the general with uh, covert action, we could put him in charge and just destroy them one by one. We have ballistas, so even though they are fortified, they would need to come out. And in open field battle, we would just absolutely destroy them. So do we have anyone with covert action who's not already in command? Yeah, I guess the answer is no. Okay, so let's retire our Antiochus II and start recruiting another strong army in uh, Syria. Get him Sun Safaris, level 4 army, excellent. Get him Elephants, sure. And this army has also upkeep bonus, perfect. Okay, let's start with, oh wow, rank 7 unit right off the bat. Couple of Ballistas, 3 Archers, 1 Light Peltast. Still to war with everyone? Yeah, move on. Okay, so Egypt is attacking us, exactly what we expected. We win this even on Auto Resolve, but we lose half of our force. And this is very valuable half because of all this exp. So we are going to fight this one manually. 
but we've been playing for a while so this will be the next episode so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>